everyone, this is Glenn Irvin, Irv Spanish, and this is a video about an amazing website called ClassroomScreen.com. It is free, it's easy to use, and it's fantastic. The website itself was brought to me by Danny Patterson. If you don't already follow her on Twitter, you should. I'll post that right up here. And the site is amazing, especially if you have a any kind of projector in front of your classroom. You're going to be able to find multiple uses for this. I could see this being used in especially in a elementary type setting, but I could see it being used at the middle or junior high school level. And even at the high school level, I would have used this as far as in my Spanish classes. So what I'm going to do is the first thing you should do is go to classroomscreen.com. And then it will take you to this site. You don't have to do anything. You don't log in or anything. This is a, basically it sets up a temporary board kind of in the background for you. Okay. You can make it full screen. Right now I'm not in full screen as you can see here. But at the bottom right you can click the little button there to be able to make it full screen. Um, and you can uh, change the backgrounds and do all kinds of things. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to walk you through each one of these buttons at the bottom. Uh, and let you know what they do. So maybe it will be useful for you. The first thing you could do, and I thought it was very useful, is uh, if you live somewhere else or you want to change the language functions inside of the thing, very easy. You can change them here by clicking the language button and then choosing the appropriate language. Uh, starts off defaulted in English. The next cool thing is this Eiffel Tower. I actually chose that image from a variety of different images that are included here. And then you can also, as you can see here, I'm going to click the background, upload your own or you can have it be toggling between the different images throughout the class period. If you choose to go ahead and do something like that, uh, you can have that happen also. So I'll leave this in the background there for you. The next little button here is fantastic. I love this one. It's a random name and also a dice type of ability. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up here. And uh, all of these things are manipulable and you can move them to wherever you want. But basically what this is stating here is you type the names in. So let's say you had a Google Doc and had all your classroom list already. You would just paste it into here. So let's just go Glenn and Ralph and Mercedes, let's say. And then it's a random name chooser. So as far as in class, you're like, okay, let's see who we're going to have next. We're going to have Ralph go ahead and speak next. And that would, as easy as that, to copy and paste it into here. And it even lets you, uh, I believe, upload a list. Yep, probably from a CSV file. It lets you go ahead and upload that list from there. The next little function right beside it, you can see some little dice there. And basically, it gives you the option of rolling one dice two or three dice okay and basically let me just go to roll it the reason why you'd want to do this is for some kind of gamification purposes depending upon what you're working on in class right there you have it right as part of your board i'm going to leave that up there because you can include all these elements as you start working on them the next really cool one especially i could see it again at the junior high level elementary level uh, is this sound level function i'm going to click it right here and it tells you gives you some instructions Basically, it just says you need to allow for a microphone such as this one that I'm using here uh, to be able to go ahead and and uh, take in those audio levels. Even just the laptop that you might be using uh, needs to be able to take in those audio levels. And then you can measure those things as far as in class to make sure. Let me bring my sensitivity down to make sure that you don't get too loud. Okay, and this I've seen this as an app in different uh, purposes, or people have used it for different things. Um, and uh, depending upon if they they need to stay underneath the eight or the seven or whatever it is that you're actually working on, as far as in class. Okay, so the next really cool thing that I really like is this QR code function here. So what it does is I didn't know what it did at first, but right away it defaults to ClassroomScreen.com. But what you should use it for is you put in whatever website you want here. So let's just say I wanted to go to Schoology.com. I press enter, it'll change that QR code. So my students, if we have mobile devices or their phones, can go ahead and scan that, the QR code right there, and then they can pop right away to whatever the site is that I want. So if I don't already have a link, or I'm doing something on the fly in class, I'm like, oh, let's take you out to National Geographic or take you out to this specific uh, link here. I just pop it in here and they can use this QR code function very easily. Uh, the next part is basically the next little button is 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 how you use your board if you wanted to. So I've seen this used for example uh, different uh, programs let you go ahead and write on your board. 
kind of depending upon what kind of smart board you actually have uh, or uh, Promethean or whatever it might be. So this is the drawing function. So it basically provides a whiteboard in the background. And let me move my little dice function here. And you can see that I have different colors here. Uh, and I could change the font size, basically. Uh, I could provide different backgrounds, so white or black or even the grid kind of paper if I wanted to go ahead and do that. Uh, and then when I'm uh, done, I could just go ahead and draw, write, whatever it is that I actually want to go ahead and do here. But if I don't want the drawing part anymore, I just click off the function down here. Super easy to go ahead and do. Uh, super easy to manipulate, be able to write on your board, do the same kind of things. The next little text box, I would use it a lot, especially for like a daily agenda. So I put up my daily agenda up here, and then I type in what are we going to actually be doing today. And I could throw it in there. I could change the font size to whatever I want, bold it, whatever types of font that I want to go ahead and use there. Fantastic use for it. The next functionality there is something called work symbols. Really love this, especially I would say I could see this at the elementary level, though, man, I could see my high school students needing some reminders here. Basically, is what kind of work environment are we working in and remind the students of that. So, for example, right at the beginning of class, it needs to be quiet. Maybe they're working on a bell ringer activity it needs to be silent, right? Uh, let's say you wanted to go ahead and say, okay, at this point in time, go ahead and be very, very quiet. You can whisper to a partner. Or you can go ahead and change the functionality to, I think you could talk to your neighbor or ask a neighbor about something. And then finally, the last one, I believe, is working together, kind of like collaborative activity. As a reminder up there upon the board, you have what you're actually working on. This is another kind of thing that I've seen in elementary classrooms. Uh, red is a specific classroom management type of symbol. Yellow is kind of like an in-between symbol, and green is go ahead and go. Depending upon how you use that in classroom management, I've seen it used a lot, variety of different purposes. It is fantastic. The next functionality there is a timer already included in there. Of course, we can just go to Google and timer it. But what if you had all these things all at once? And you could go ahead and say, okay, we got uh, three minutes for the bell ringer. Go ahead and complete that. Okay. And then the final one that I really love is why not embed an actual clock okay, with the dates on it right onto your board. You can do each one of these things with different sites. I know that. But it's pretty cool that ClassroomScreen.com provides all of those things all at one place. If you have any questions, let me know. Adios. Hasta la vista. Thank you.